tell everybody how broke we are? <laughs> it's budget time for this week. I wouldn't like to remind everybody there is a donate button up there. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Just joking. Um, All right, today is our uh, regular weekly meeting, letting you know exactly what it costs for us to uh, live for a week in an RV, travel around the country. Your uh, experience may be more or less, just depends on how much you right. travel. So Kim's going to give us a little recap. Gas was a little bit cheaper, but we still did a pretty good bit. Now we're averaging on our diesel. We burned diesel, and the average price was probably what two thirty-five a yeah. gallon. And this is some. This is in May, so of, of 2016. For all you people that are watching in 2017, make sure you like, subscribe, share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the first thing we stayed at that Willows campground for two nights. And with tax and everything, it added up to $90.39, which was $45.20 roughly a night, which is kind of high to me, but we did it. The next thing was gas for the truck. Now, the gas for the truck was $228.29, and the reason being is we went to Zion, and then we came all the way over here to find this BLM land that was actually in Bryce Canyon City. We wanted to make sure that we could pull Maddie back here and do everything. And since we had the time, we went ahead and took it and did what we had to do so we could see if there was any road problems or anything like that because I was not going through Zion pulling Maddie. Yeah, we did a little advanced scouting. Sometimes when you're pulling something this big, uh, you don't know where you're going. We've, on our previous experience, check out uh, season uh, one, one <laughs> where uh, we went through a, a mountain pass that we should not have been on. No. We made it okay. We should have filmed that one. Yeah, we should really film that. We could, we weren't smart enough on the GoPros yet. We were freaking out too bad. So we just want to make sure we're in a lot of mountainous area, areas. We go from 3,000 feet elevation all the way up to 8,000 right. here. So we just wanted to make sure, and then I can enjoy the drive up here. Right. But I mean, we went to Zion twice, and we came over here, and then we did some running around. But the gas, the gas in the truck right now is on full. So we spent 228.29, and we do have a full tank at this. 228 dollars yeah. on gas. It's a lot. The generator, the gas for the generator, it's on full also, and we spent $24.75. We just got through topping all, everything off. So. so that's not bad for one week, only $24 to power Maddie, except for two yeah, days. Yeah, you have to realize we've already been boondocking for three days. Right, so, so you, you think about that, and uh, we probably ran it longer than we had to. We're trying to experiment with a few things. We'll show that in some upcoming videos, right. how long we can go with our battery power, running the TVs, running the direct TV. But, you know, to, to uh, do different things with the microwave oven, you know, right now gas is, uh, is uh, two, right around $2.30 a, a gallon. Propane, last time we filled up, it was, was, three was 369 or 349 yeah. a gallon. So I don't know what the difference is. It's just easy for me to plug in and go. Yeah. So, And we're full with propane, too. Yep. And the groceries this week, and actually, all together, I, I didn't break it down. I'm going to tell you what I did, though. It was one thirty twenty five. But in that, we have a $20 repair window kit for the, like a little nick in the window. Driving the up and down these roads, you're going to get uh, a nick in your window. And yeah. if you're going to do this full time, you might as well just go ahead and get you one. That way you can get it fixed right away. I say highly suggest you get one. Right. And then we had to get some more leave and stuff like that too. And then for the groceries. For, so for everything we spent, as far as groceries and everything, was one thirty twenty five, And that was including, like I said, the window repair kit and Advil and um, some Pepsi AC and just little stuff like that. For our entertainment, we spent $25.67. We actually went and got a hamburger yesterday for our fat day. That was $17.64 for two hamburgers, and it was not worth it, trust me. But we got out and we did it, and that's I the took only way you Daryl, Daryl's RV kitchen outdoors. That's right. Daryl cooks outdoors. Man too. <laughs> <laughs> and then we actually went and got um, last well, the first day of our little diet, I mean, the first day, we actually had a fat day another time here because Dairy Queen was in here. It was $8.03. Got got, me a blizzard. We got a blizzard. We don't have Dairy Queens down in Louisiana. We got Sonics, which we love our Sonics. We haven't been to them much because we're really trying to diet. So we thought we'd stop and get a blizzard. Man, it was fantastic. It was so good. And we actually lost a pound when we got on the yep. after we so, ate it. You know, then, right. then the only other thing that we bought, we went to the Zion gift store. And I got a poster, and it was $10.59 of all, like, the different arches and stuff that they had in 
Utah. Look, look, yeah, different places to stop. Look yeah. for that in an upcoming video. We'll give yeah, you a show. Yeah, Utah that. rocks. So our total that we spent this week, and we, like I said, we are on full on the gas, and the generator is full. We got plenty of food, and we are boondocking now. We spent five hundred and nine dollars and ninety four cents. Now, and I would say what a third of that is fuel. So again, right. the more you travel, the more your expenditures. If you can stay sitting in one spot, that's fantastic. So yeah, maybe next we week might be cheaper for us unless we decide that we want to move again, depending on weather. So it's all relative. No, we are moving next week because we're going to Washington. Well, we got to be up there. Well, we, we got to get up there sooner or later. That's the following week, but we may stay this coming week here. We don't know yet. It depends on weather. If the weather breaks and the weather goes good at the Tetons, we may go. But that's for another video. Okay, so it was five hundred and nine dollars and ninety four cents. We have to be in Washington on the twenty first. <laughs> well, today's only I don't know eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. Okay, and then the America the Beautiful. I thought I'm, I'm trying to keep up with this just to show y'all. We like I said, we spent eighty dollars on the America the Beautiful. We've been on the road for two weeks. We went to Arches, which was twenty five dollars. We went to Canyon Land, which was twenty-five dollars. They didn't charge us, but if we would, if it wouldn't have been that time of the year, we would have been charged. Okay. We went, and all the other ones we got charged at. We went to Zion twice, which was sixty dollars. So if you take the two twenty-five dollars of Arches and Canyon Land, and then the sixty dollars for Zion, that's a hundred and ten dollars. We paid eighty for the pass. We're in the we're in the, we're ahead right now by thirty dollars savings in two weeks, and we have a lot more of. Of national parks that we're going to do. It's so America it is the beautiful. well worth every penny that you spend on it. Plus, you're helping out. Even if you don't go to them, you're helping out the national parks. I mean, who doesn't want to help do that? They're beautiful. So that's basically what we did this week. So, so all you have to do is remember, save your money. That eight dollar blizzard was paid for because we didn't go out and do something. And we day. never do anything like that. Kim cuts my hair. I save fifteen dollars and not getting a haircut, as you can see. <laughs> A little bit beautiful so it, it depends on how you want to live so right your budget is your budget you can go in a car with a pup tent and throw it outside somewhere in camp or you can get a big uh, multi 45 foot class a prevost and have a large time it depends on what you want to do and what your finances are Another thing I was going to say, though, too, I mean, since we're on this diet and we're trying to lose weight and get healthy, it does cost more to cook healthy than yeah. it does to cook your regular food. So with that being taken into effect, too, I mean, it does cost more for us to eat now since we're eating healthy. So I guess all you vegans out there, please comment down here. I mean, it's got to cost y'all a fortune to eat all the fresh vegetables and, and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, we've been doing more fresh vegetables. We've been doing the um, organic eggs. We've been doing... I mean, I've been buying a lot of organic chicken, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I don't buy the the regular stuff anymore. I mean, every now and then you have to have a good hamburger or something. Like that. Well, like I said, it's up to you. Spend what you want. Save what you want. Right. But get, get a plan going. If you're ready to go in a year, you should be starting to save right now. Or if not before. You get you a, a little kitty going. Don't touch it. Uh, let me tell you, when you get out and have a good time, when you're in your RV, you'll appreciate it because you have that money saved up. You don't have to worry about, oh, I can't go here because I don't have enough gas money, or I can't do this, or I can't do that. Pack it away, pack it away, pack it away. Don't spend your money. Save. Get your rig ready to go. Put a few dollars in your rig over the next year. Uh, get it all ready to go. Check your tires. But anyway, the budget for the week. We're trying to stay to five hundred dollars, but we did a lot of traveling this week. We we only went to five oh nine. Yep. So we could have been down if we would have stayed in one place. Could have right. been down around two hundred and some dollars. That's not bad. Right. So anyway, we hope well, you like enjoyed said, this video. We we still like I was going to say. I mean, we still go and see everything that we wanted to see because we did save our money and did this kind of stuff. So we are able to go and do. You don't want to go somewhere. And be stuck there and know that you can't go see it because you didn't save your money. You yep. might be able to get there, but then you can't go and enjoy the place. You want to be able to do both. And if you're doing this full time or you're only doing it six months out of the year, you know, you run out of money, you got to go home or you can only go on vacation right. for two weeks. If you're going out here and you're paying $300 on fuel, mm -hmm. 
you sure as heck want to enjoy once it once you get there and right. be able to and go in these places. Another thing, we we've, <coughs> we've only paid for four camp nights in two weeks, which isn't bad. Uh, I mean, it was expensive too. So I mean, you really have to do something else to. Hey, do we like it, staying at Walmart? Not Walmart. really, but it's 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 nothing we're just there wrong at night with it. And leave in the morning. But this but, is nice when we. But are. look how much money we save. You you take four nights. Uh, you're you're four averaging nights, about forty five dollars a eight night going nights, somewhere. That's almost four or five hundred dollars right. that we save that we can use elsewhere. So. And you got there late, and you were leaving in the morning, so it isn't like you were going out and doing anything and seeing anything. I mean, you were just sleeping, so it's not Absolutely. a big deal. And they were quiet. The ones we've been to, there hasn't been any loud noise. Some of them are kind of you know spooky or whatever. Yeah. Call ahead. You know, check them out. And the BLM. But we'll do a separate right? video on on, on Walmart. Uh, or the Big Blue Store, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and BLM land. But again, we appreciate everybody watching, liking, and subscribing, and comment down below. We're going to do another Q&A coming up here probably next week. Uh, yeah. So if you got any questions, put them down below. Any other comments, give it to us. We're ready for it. We, we ain't scared. <laughs> well, except when we went through the tunnel oh, in God, Zion. But anyway, Chris and G, if you're watching it, G, we know what you went through. Kim went through it. It was fun. It was an adventure. Stop the madness. <laughs> Start the adventure. Next time. See ya. Adios. What? What do you mean what? This was this is a great box of wine. <laughs> yeah, right. Aged on a truck. In a plastic bag, put in a box. Champagne and strawberries. <laughs> Living a good life. <laughs> He's so cool.